I said there's green beans in it. It's a scene out of a John Denver song. Sub the country road for a reservation one. It's so warm in here. And it takes us to a home on the Tulalip Tribe Reservation. What's Cincinnati's record? The Battle Family. One plate. Tonight gathered to watch son, brother, grandson, Raekwon battle on the big screen. Let's go, about time, let's go. Dinner is served and grace is said. This family grateful because of what's been taken away. We don't go quiet. Raekwon's mom, Jackie, a single mom of five boys. I'm mama bear. And her love ranges further than the Appalachians. He brings unity in a community, family. The battles are loud for this clash against Cincinnati. Call that, thank you. Call it again. Let's go. But at the start of the year, they were forced to sit in silence. It wasn't fair at all. Oh, hell no. Raekwon prevented from playing because of the NCAA's two-time transfer rule. Really hard on us. <laughs> just Not just him, but as a family. For Raekwon, it was one loss after another. Losing his sport paled in comparison to losing his support system. Raekwon spent his first two seasons playing college basketball at UW. He wanted to stay close to home, but that meant staying close to tragedy. She passed away of COVID. Raekwon's grandmother, Geraldine Williams, was 82. Battle then transferred to Montana State after his sophomore year, but he couldn't escape the reality of the reservation. Losing family members to drugs, alcohol. His best friend who I took in as a foster kid, who's my son, passed away of overdose. Fentanyl. Junior Shea was a brother to Raekwon. Raekwon told us in December after Junior's death, he needed to leave the West entirely. I didn't want to kind of stay home and get drowned, you know, drown into the negative aspects of what goes on back over here. More focused away, the further away. Raekwon chose West Virginia because of a shared experience. I ended up meeting, you know, Coach Josh, our head coach. It felt like home away from home. He grew up on a reservation in South Dakota for a couple years and that he kind of made me feel a little more at home. But the NCAA made the homecoming feel like heartbreak. And this is a message for the NCAA. Raekwon had to petition to play after he was ruled ineligible. A video on social media said basketball was therapy. The NCAA has already acknowledged my mental health ailment. It hurts to sit on the sideline knowing you know, you're being held back. I was determined to play this year. You know what I mean? And nobody was going to stop me from playing, even if it was the NCAA itself. His call to action reached thousands, making it to the doorstep of the state capitol, where the West Virginia governor rallied behind Raekwon. This kid needs to play basketball. He needs it really bad. A judge then issued a restraining order against the NCAA, and Raekwon returned. He had 29 points in his season debut. I felt like, you know, I had a whole army behind me, pretty much. One month later, this army is ready for battle. Pop that, baby. Raekwon is now West Virginia's leading scorer. His family says it's a familiar sight. He used to make 20 points a game all the time, 30 sometimes. On this night, it was only 10, but three of them were magical. Woo! Oh! <laughs> the go-ahead three-pointer, that wound up being the game winner. A win after a series of losses. Clutch. I'm just very, very proud. Uh, more than anybody could think. For Raekwon, his new home is almost heaven. It doesn't stop here, it's just the beginning. West Virginia, <laughs> West Virginia is the place battle belongs. On the Tulalip Reservation, Jake Garcia, King 5 Sports.